Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, we were on a bit of a recruitment drive. We went to Nasrad, got some more people. Well, sadly, it's about time to leave this place. This fiery hellhole that the Valians have left. Okay, so where's this party wagon heading next? Let's go back to the ship, check it out. Oh. We've got to go to the other side and check our crew out. We need to go back to Pirate Island. We need to go check out our fat friend, which we've already defeated once, and go check out his new bistro. Um, let's go. I do like this little ship here. Look at this. This is our new away ship, which is it, it's cool. It kind of looks more like a life raft than anything else, but eh. Let's go. So back on board. Now what we can do, just like the other ship, at any point, we can go to the bridge and then check out our crew. So let's have a little look. So the helmsman, Lawrence, is back in charge. You want to go to Crescent Isle, right? Hmm. To the north of Nassar? Do you want to take the wheel? Uh, we're going to look around ship some more. You stay there, dude. Now, Pinta, what are you doing? Prince Enrique's ship was to be the strongest boat in the entire Valuan Armada. It was made using Valuan's newest ally, uh, alloys and technologies. Not only did you manage to steal the ship phase, you managed to steal the prince away from Valuan. You've become quite famous. Yeah, something like that. Hey, Ica, how's it going? This Crescent Island that we're heading towards is the island that you were stranded on, right? I can't wait to see what it looks like. But I still can't believe it. We're actually going to have our own headquarters, just like Pirate Island. This is exciting or what? Yeah, it's pretty cool, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I've been curious as to what sorts of islands you were stranded on. Um, it's not much to look at, if I'm being honest. Let's see what else is going on on the ship. I wonder if Enrique's in the lookout tower. We need a good lookout, don't we? I don't think we have a lookout yet. But with all these people on board, at least we've got a good cook. It'd be cool if you had to buy supplies periodically and pay everyone. I'd like that sort of simulation. But obviously that doesn't really lend itself well to gameplay. Oh, I guess there's nobody up here. It's a talking tube. This one's connected to the bridge. This is the bridge. Over. Oh, Vase. It's you. Are you enjoying the view from the lookout tower? I am. Sh unfortunately, we can't um, go into first person view. Would have been pretty cool if we could. Alright, let's go check below deck. No, I think that's it. This is a very long ladder. Okay. Hopefully they won't build any more of these vessels. Because I kind of like being the top dog. And of course we get to upgrade the ship as we go. Which is always fun. Did we look out this way before? Yeah, this just goes straight out to the deck, doesn't it? Ah. Good. This is what I'd like to see. These decks will be so clear. Yeah, so he still says the same thing. And there's Nassim. Or Kazim, I should say. Hey, let's get ready. we got to knock those Valiant ships out of the sky. All right, let's do it. I'm glad he's brought his soldiers, well, his crew on board as well. That's really cool. Don't worry, we're ready. Yeah, you seem to be polishing those shells up pretty well. We'll take care of your cannons for you. Good man. Ugh, I didn't think the Delphinus would rock this much. Ugh. <laughs> He's puking his guts up. Are you sure it's not Polly's cooking? I hope it's not Polly's cooking. Let's go see. It's so cool how the ship gets populated over time. 
God, imagine what they could do these days if they made a new one. Ah, we can dream. Okay. Shame you can't go have a look at the quarters. It's like a luxury vessel, man. I like this ship a lot. It's strong and beautiful, much like myself. Okay. Sure. One is a very high opinion of herself. Okay. And Polly. Considering that it's the inside of a ship, this kitchen is really impressive. There's enough supplies and cookware here for me to do my best work. Excellent. That's what we like to hear. Well-fed crew is a happy crew. Alright, let's get back. I wonder if there's... No. There are all sorts of emergency supplies in this box. Oh yeah. Good. I'm glad it's come well stocked. And thank the Empress for that. Okay, dude. Come on, Lawrence. Let me take over. Alright. Here, take the wheel. Yeah, you go sit in the corner. What am I paying you for exactly? I think we're just paying him to keep the ship in a holding pattern whilst we're away. <laughs> now, where do we want to go? We could go to Crescent Island, which is just over there. We could also... Hmm. We do need to go to North... Let's have a look here. Uh, I'm trying to think where. Let's look at my notes a minute. North Ocean. Okay. Let's go back for now. Let's go to Pirate's Island. Pirate's Isle. Because that's kind of out of the way. So if we go do that first. So we want to south. Well. I'm going to head west. And we're going to get into loads of combat, aren't we? Because of course we are. At least with the party at full strength, this shouldn't take too long. We'll go for Lambada Burst. Should flatline everything. Pretty much in one go. Yep. That's the stuff. That's what we like. Hey, nice amount of gold too. Enrique is leveling up. That's a point. We kind of need to get him on competitive footing with the others. Because we've got a lot to do here. Uh, okay. Alright, so this is... Well, we're going back over Valua. Curious. Ah, the straight was here, wasn't it? Yeah. Going the wrong way. Because of course we are. Okay, all systems full speed ahead. Yeah, we can't go through that yet. Eventually we'll be able to. We'll be able to go pretty much anywhere. Which is really cool. Uh, right, it's just Lombarda burst everything. Hopefully this should kill everything. No ineffective against those guys and she missed well that sucks well I mean they all ran away so that was a humongous waste of our time for everyone all right there we go that's what we want definitely gets a little bit better when you start upgrading the ship Oh, well, we're not really upgrading the ship. We're just getting more systems online. Now, where... So we want to go straight ahead. Really? Yeah, and then through that. Got ya. I'm not sure if we can actually make the ship faster. Probably can. Well, actually, I don't think you can. You can make it faster in combat, of course. But not actually... 
Uh, right, let's go for that. Cool. Kill them. Kill them all. Burn. Lovely. That's why you get paid the big bucks, Ica. Well, technically, she's not really getting paid the big bucks, though, is she? We'll be technical about it. In fact, she's left one thing. Okay. Well, there should be a big gaping hole here. Excellent. And that's where we want to go. And of course, combat. I did wonder, you know, maybe we could just not come up here and fight them every single time? We don't really need to be out on the deck, do we? I mean, I very much doubt these creatures could get inside. Or is there something I don't know about these creatures? Or we could just blast them with the uh, cannons? Oh, that's a point. I guess we can't. Because we don't have any close-in weapon systems, do we? Unfortunately. Right, so there's Pirate Island. No, that's not Pirate Island. That is Shrine Island. Pirate Island is just down here. We've got no need to go back to that place. Not yet, anyway. Oh no, no, we never have to go back there. I was thinking for some reason that we had some stuff. To Ooh, wait a minute. Loopers, are these worth still fighting? That's the question. Well, one way to find out, Cutlass Fury. And then that leaves us with only two spirit points left. Now, are they worth it from a financial standpoint? Oh, nice. Well done, Vina. That was easy. No. No. They're really not that worth worrying about. Okay. Ah, home sweet home. My god, it's been a while. Okay, I kind of was expecting to talk to that ship, sure. Hey there, Vase. I heard that you not only managed to escape from Vanga, but you stole one of their best ships as well. <coughs> their best ship. That's incredible, but we've got a new ship too. We just finished the last preparations on the Albatross 2. We've been working on it for a long time in the underground port, and it's finally finished. I can't wait to take her sailing. Yeah, I bet it's just some basic sailboat, you know. It's not going to be much to our ship, of course. Still, snobbery aside, let's have a little look around here. I don't think there's actually anything we can really do here. We can go talk to everyone, which is cool. But I don't think there's much in the way. I think we can take the dog, actually. Um, Faze, we wanted to ask you to do something for us. We really wish we could go with you and help out, but we're still too young. I guess that's what our parents say. So instead, we want you to take Pow with you. He'll help you out instead. Pow, Pow. Pow has always been there for us whenever we needed someone to cheer us up. He was there. And we were just thinking that maybe if Pow could go with you, he could cheer you up whenever you needed it, you know? Ha, ah, I see. Well then, Pow, looks like you're the newest member of my crew. You heard that, Pow? Vase is going to take you with him. You're going to get to sail on that big ship with his crew. Pow, pow, pow. Yeah, i kind of mixed about this. Pow has joined your crew as a jester of sorts. Yeah, very mixed about having a dog on board. Basically, you know, a human can make their own decisions. I mean, there's no guarantee at this point that the Delphinus isn't going to go down burning in flames. Now, a dog or any other animal can't really consent to the dangers of that so I mean it's cool to have a dog on board but kind of get the feeling if anything happened well you know anyway they say there are six yeah granny's still gonna say the same old shit 
fair enough. Let's go down. Whilst we're here. Oh, we could go see Mum, actually. Oh, Mummy. Oh, you're home. Did you want to rest for a little while? Yes. I'll prepare a nice dinner for you, okay? Just go upstairs and relax. I'll let you know when dinner's ready. Yeah, to be fair. Um, as cool as that is, Mum, we've got a good cook on board. And unless you're going to prepare dinner for the whole crew, it's a little bit unfair, isn't it? Good morning. You just be careful out there, okay? And make sure you bundle up if it gets cold. Mum, I'm the captain of my own ship, you know. The most powerful ship that's ever sailed the skies. So how does it feel to have gone on your first adventure? It must feel great to be out on your own. But I always knew that you weren't the type to sit still for very long. I knew it was only a matter of time before you left here. Yeah, the first adventure has been pretty good so far. Um, I don't think any of my other adventures will live up to these. You know, once you've already sailed the world, discovered everything there is to discover, get the most powerful ship going, defeat the most evil empire, yeah, it's kind of hard to follow that up, really. Um, thank you, phone. Or thank you, Windows, I should say. Okay. Uh, I guess we could talk to this chap. We could also check the shop out here as well, see if there's anything new there. What? You escaped value again? And this time, you also stole the Armada's most powerful ship? Wow, I don't know if you're just crazy or plain tough, but one thing's for sure, you're always full of surprises. Eh, well that's because I'm a doer. I don't just stand here at the entrance to this underground cave, leaning against a rock. You'd probably go a little bit further if you did more than that too. I'm just saying. No hate. Hey, Dad. Now, listen up, Vays. There are times when something other than brute strength or the sharpness of mind is demand. Uh. Okay, he's just telling... Okay, so Dad doesn't say anything? Oh, by the way, Dad, I was nearly executed in prison. I've been away for, like, months, you know, all this stuff. Uh, haven't seen you for a while. Got a new ship, too. It's pretty cool. Dad doesn't really care. Uh, I mean, of course he doesn't. I promise I won't oversleep this time. So just let me sleep a little, okay? You lazy bastard. Okay, well, I guess nothing's really changed here. Or nothing's really going on here. I'm glad I left this place. This place sucks. Hopefully there's something new going on. Let's see the albatross too. Okay. I mean, kind of looks similar, but looks quite fancy for a sailboat. I'll give them that. <laughs> if it isn't Vase the Dashing. Oh, now we're Vase the Dashing. Is that possibly. I think it was possibly some kind of translate a translation typo. That's why it didn't make a lot of sense. Because Vase the Darling doesn't make any sense. And yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. I wonder who gave you that name. A lady, perhaps? I wonder what Ica thinks about that. Hey, you keep out of it, Zach. Right. I come all this way and you sell me this garbage? Dude. Honestly. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by. Yeah, see you later, Zach. Hi, Aaron. Hey there, Vase. The Dashing? You really seem to be making name for yourself as a sailor these days. Well, good for you, Vase. I guess you just have the same basic stuff as well. I've probably got more of them in stock than you do. Okay. Well, I think it's safe to say we've well and truly outgrown this place. Oh, Vase, let's go. People to see. Battles to have. 
Well, that was certainly a disappointing trip back, but now we can go. We've got another crew member that we can write off the list. Now we need to go to our island and see about setting that up. Now that's going to cost us an awful lot of money. Have I said that before? I feel like I've said that once, maybe twice. Okay. Well, it's nice to sleep in our bed again and have a home-cooked meal from Mother. Although, she really does pale in comparison to Polly's cooking. I'm just saying, I've just got to be honest. Good to see all of this stuff has been rebuilt. Well, I'm glad these guys are doing well and getting back on their feet after what the Valiants did. Surprised, actually, the Valiants haven't, um, you know, come back for round two. Uh, interesting. We can come back here. Could we go back here before? I don't think we could. There might be some discoveries back here. Come on. Eh, just nuke the lot. Nuke the frickin' lot. Burn them all. Well, that even kills the loopers, so... Okay. Yeah, that was quite easy. Right, 300. 300 gold, I mean... It's alright, chuck it on the pile, I guess. Unless we already have discovered this. Wait a minute, where are we? Can we not? Oh, I don't think... Oh, right, hang on. Is this not where we started? This might have been where we started. Okay. My mistake. Ica. Burn them all to dust. Just be careful about splitting the hull of this ship. Okay. Well, if there is anything here to discover, we'll get to it another time. No doubt it will be on my... On my notes. Yeah, once we can go through these sky drifts, it'll be so, or sky rifts, it'll be so much easier because we can just go straight through this stuff. But unfortunately, today is not that day. Okay, full power ahead. I want to go north. That's it. Interesting. It doesn't feel like this ship is any faster than the little jack, which is a shame. I think it should be. Uh, these battles are so trivial now. They really are. Pointless, even. Right, throw it on the pile, guys. Nine experience. Just not even worth it not even worth my time now I would like to go to the bistro but I don't think we can I have a feeling that the bistro is in an area that we haven't been to yet so our next port of call really is our island only we could go through the rocks god one day one day we can go through the rocks Oh, we got a back attack. That doesn't happen very often. I would say at least we're getting some XP and some gold, but not really. 92 gold. I mean, we can buy two basic healing crystals with that, I think. I think like 40 gold each or something. Probably not even that, actually. Okay. At least going through here, we should start getting into random battles that are almost worth doing. 
Almost. Still. Giving the engines of this ship a nice test. Oh, we're still fighting this shit. Which is uh, disappointing. <laughs> Even Fina. You know when Fina's killing everything? That's a bad sign. That's a sign to give up and go home. Hey. Got a new weapon. I say a new weapon. That's that rare drop, if I remember correctly. Ah, throwing blade. Yeah, an ancient weapon found near Sailor's, Sailor's Island. Uh, okay, I don't think it's any good. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of kind of shit. Just a little bit shit. How oh, shit? How low can you go? Right, anyway, let's keep going. There's Nasrad and Nassar. And now, let's keep going to our new base of operations. Okay. Ooh, go for the fish. Really? Really? Yeah, to get one of the ratings, you actually need to catch... It's like two and a half thousand fish or something. Yeah, it's a lot. Kind of a lot of effort for not really a lot of result. Right, we should get a little bit more money for that. Yeah, that's more like it. Hey, and rank up. Oof, nice. Okay. Go to Crescent Island. Alright. At least this island has a name now. Faze, this is pretty amazing, huh? <laughs> hey, Enrique, how does it feel to be outside the Imperial Palace? Huh? Oh. I don't think he's feeling so good. Everything is so... Ugh. So beautiful. I've never seen anything like it before. Looks like somebody's a little air sick. <laughs> Perhaps all of this traveling is a little rough for our sheltered prince. Yes, Ika, you are correct. I never realized that sailing could be so rough. But this was my decision. I can't let a little air sickness slow me down. Ugh. <laughs> Enrique, are you going to be all right? Well, it looks like this is going to be a long trip for Enrique. Yeah, don't worry. Once you get used to sailing, you won't get s uh, sick as easy. I'm sure you'll be okay. Uh, hey. It took you guys long enough to get here. Gangly old man. A small old man. Hey, hey, it's good to meet you. You're Vase, right? Well, there are a couple of characters. The little dwarf looking guy has a nail in his mouth. You might be forgiven for thinking it's a cigar, but that's actually a nail. Gilda told us that you needed a crew. We're here to report for duty. Really? I'm Brabham. If anything's broke, I can fix it. I'm the greatest engineer that ever lived. Now you're talking. You look like a zombie or something, though. That's a nice-looking ship. If you want, I can get it running smoother than ever. Crank it up a few notches. Give it more power. Are you sure? Nothing like this ship has ever been designed before. Ba-bam! <laughs> I'm Ismail. If you want something built, I build it. You don't want something built? I build it anyway. <laughs> At least he's honest. I'm building some buildings for you. You're going to need a base, right? Uh, sure. Thank you. Leave it up to us. But before we get started, we need some funds to cover expenses and labor. First, I'll fortify the hull of your ship so you'll be able to pass through the stone reefs. Oh, what? You get to do that now? Ugh, I wish I'd known that. 
Then I'll upgrade your engines, so you'll be powering through sky rifts in no time. Ugh, that would have made things a lot easier. But it will cost you 25,000 gold. And I plan to build you a port and some living quarters first. Let me see. ka -ching. I'll need about 75,000 gold. What a bargain. What? So altogether we need to give you 100,000 gold? Don't worry, Aika. We can handle it. Well, the Delphinus does need some modifications, and we're going to need more than a couple of caves to call a base. Enrique is right. Let's pull off our search for the other moon crystals, or put off our search for the other moon crystals until we can get 100,000 gold to pay these, um, gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, these rogues. Who's the pirates here? Jesus. Well, lucky for you guys, I have your money. This guy looks bizarre, man. I don't think he's got any teeth. So, do you have the 25,000 gold that I need to modify your ship? <sighs> yes. You gave uh, Barb Ham 25,000. You better be purring like a kitten when you're done with it. Yippee! Now I can fortify the hole of the Delphinus for you. You'll be going through stone reefs and sky drifts in no time. Good. Let's talk to him again. Just you wait, Skipper. You'll be flying through those stone reefs and sky rifts like they were nothing. Good. Right, and you. I'll need 75,000 gold to start building your headquarters. Oh, God damn. 75,000 gold. Yeah, I bet you're grinning. I mean, all your materials are basically free. They're all around you. Don't worry. This will be the best investment of your life. Hmm. I wish this base wasn't so secret. I want everybody to see how great this is going to be. The new hole of the Defel uh, Delphinus will be done by tomorrow morning. Then you'll be able to go after those crystals. I'm counting on you, Ismail. I'm face. I'm so excited. We're going to have our own base. The Delphinus will be able to go just about anywhere. Yeah. But we are also kind of poor. <gasps> oh, I just remembered. We were talking about making a new flag, right? If everyone's finished, we can decide on one. I'd forgotten all about that. All right, Vase, you first. What? Me first? Uh, well, I put a lot of thought into this. Don't laugh, people. This is what I drew, being an air pirate and all. I figured we should at least have a skull in the flag. And since most pirates use swords, I figured we should have one of those on the flag, too. Hey, that's pretty good. Yeah, I gotta be honest, that's not bad. Alright, Ika, you're next. I figured the skull thing was overdone, so I tried to go with something quick and cunning. That's why I drew a cat. Oh, God. I drew some gold to show people that we'd sneak up on them and steal their gold before they knew what happened. <laughs> Ika, that cat looks just like you. Well, I had to give the cat some personality. Do you think I got a little carried away? Way too carried away. <laughs> Alright, Fina, it's your turn. Well, I felt that skulls were a little too scary, so I wanted to make something happier. Um, <clears throat> The word Delphinus refers to an ancient creature that lived in the seas. I drew one of them to show everyone what our ship was named after. Hmm. There's no reason to be embarrassed, Fina. I don't think there's ever been an air pirate flag that looked like this. I like it. Well, that's all of them. Faze, you're the captain. Which one do you like? Ah, uh -huh. uh, I kind of like Fina's flag, to be honest. I mean, <laughs> I, I do like our flag the most, but let's go with Fina's flag. I think I like Fina's flag. It's very original, and people will remember the name of our ship. It doesn't exactly strike fear into the hearts of anyone, but it shows our good intentions. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad. When I first drew it, I thought it might be a little strange. Well then, I'll hang one up in the bridge too. 
Oh, it's getting late. I'm starting to get hungry too. Oh yes, we get to eat those weird snake, bulbous worm things. Hey everyone, dinner's ready. Great timing. All right, calm down, Ike. You haven't seen what slimy things slither around in this uh, island. Well, it looks like we're spending the night on our new head at our new headquarters, Crescent Island. Nice and cosy. Well, the improvements to our ship are almost finished, and pretty soon we'll have an actual base on this island. Yeah, starting tomorrow, we should start searching for the remaining moon crystals. Yes, but I hope this time I won't get airsick. <laughs> You'll have to get over that. Oh, Fina, there's something I wanted to ask you. That Admiral, uh, what's his name, Ramirez, how do you know him? What? When we met him in Nasrad, you seem to know an awful lot about him. If you don't feel like telling me, it's okay. Don't worry about it. No. I'm sorry. I should have told all of you about him sooner. I'll tell you everything I know about Ramirez. You know that I'm a Sylvite, a descendant of the Silver Civilization. Ramirez is a Sylvite as well. What? Ramirez was our best warrior. He can channel the power of the silver moon through his blade, making it sharp enough to cut through light. Well, that's bad. We grew up together a long time ago. He was one of my best friends. Well, this is a Vase and Ica situation. He didn't used to be so, so heartless and cruel. Uh-oh. Don't make me fetch the keyblade. He used to care for me like a little sister. When we heard that the Valuans were trying to reawaken the Gigas, Ramirez volunteered to come down here and stop them. He went on a journey to search for the crystals alone. Shortly after he started his quest, we lost track of him. We never even dreamed that he would join forces with the Valiant Empire. Those were the people that he was sent here to stop. Hmm. I don't know why he changed. I hope that Ramirez... I hope the Ramirez that I knew isn't gone forever. Admiral Ramirez. Not only is he one of Valu's greatest swordsmen, but he's also a master strategist. He used to be uh, Gaussian's vice captain, but I don't even think Gaussian knows Ramirez's past. Uh, we're going to try and cheer her up. Cheer up, Fina. We're here with you now. Two air pirates, a Sylvite, and two crazy old men. A snot-nosed brat and an airsick prince. <laughs> Valia doesn't stand a chance. There's no other ship that can boast a more motley crew. Vase. You know, what Vase is trying to say is that you aren't alone. I'm not sure if I appreciate his comment about the airsickness, but we're all together now. Faze, Ika, Enrique. When I came here, I was all alone. Now I have so many wonderful friends. Thank you so much. Oh. <laughs> Thank you all. I will do my best. Good. Alright, so tomorrow we continue our search for the rest of the moon crystals. We'll start early. Oh, Enrique, are you sure you can get up on time without a servant to wake you up? <laughs> hey, I always get up on my own. I don't need servants. <laughs> Just remember, guys, it's, it's his ship at the end of the day. He can take it back. Well, could he? Hmm. Well, it's time, Fina. Where should we head next? In the east, there's a land that basks in the light of the blue moon. That land is known as Yafutoma. They harness the power of the blue moon and have control over the wind and water. Their culture is very different from yours. Yafutoma. Yafutoma. You've heard of it, Enrique. Yeah, according to Valiant historians, 
Yafutoma is a country far east of Nassar. It's scattered across several small islands. I remember the stories. The people were protected by scales and they eat by manipulating two sticks to pick up their food. They eat with sticks and are protected by scales? <laughs> you gotta love Ika's imagination. How are you supposed to eat with two sticks? And what do you mean scales? Are they monsters? Hmm, somehow I don't think it's what you're imagining, Ika. Yeah, maybe not. I like the way they're eating cube all there. <laughs> I love these artworks. I wonder what these strange wind and water people look like. And I still can't imagine eating with two sticks. I was hoping that we'd get to eat all kinds of exotic food on our trip. This has me a little worried. Nah, don't worry, Ika. It's not that bad. In fact, it's pretty bloody cool. To get to, Yuf uh, to Yafutoma, we should sail around the southern tip of Nassar. Some time ago, during the Valu and Nassar War, a cape was discovered by invading Valuan forces south of Nassar. That cape was named Cape Victory. There is a city there called Esperanza. If anybody knows how to get to Yafutoma, it will be the people there. Alright, so we're heading south of Nassar. Alright everybody, get to their stations. Let's go. And my god guys, it's been nearly 42 minutes. Um, right, let's go back to Crescent Isle and save it because my god, this episode's overrun just a bit, but that's okay. I won't tell anyone if you don't. Uh, he still hasn't finished building our fortress yet. I'm not really happy about. Paid him all that money. How much money do we actually have left? Get the bean counters. Oh, we got 75,000 gold, which is not to be sniffed at. Anyway, guys, I'm going to save it there. Thank you very much for watching. When we come back, I guess we're going to go to this Esperanza place. So, till then, guys. Till then.